horizon, Call of the Mountains Platinum Trophy is a delightful experience. Climbing massive structures and fighting robot dinosaurs? What's there not to love about this game? The Horizon franchise has been well received in the past, but can they deliver in virtual reality? There are 36 trophies for this game with an estimated time to platinum at about 12 hours and a difficulty rating around 5 out of 10. This game had massive expectations leading up to the release of the PSVR 2, so let's find out if it's worth your time while going for the platinum trophy. So my first step for this game was to do a blind playthrough to enjoy the game and the story. I'll try to keep this platinum journey as spoiler free as I can, but there are no guarantees as many of the trophies are story related. After the opening sequence and a few tutorials, I am greeted by the first trophy of the game, shooting the first of many warning beacons. First trophy, warning beacon. Next up, I found my first collectible of the game nearby. Oh, okay. Trophy collector. Nice. This trophy here is story related and is rewarded for completing mission one. No oh no! <sighs> trophy, rock to the head. Damn shadow card, yeah. Up next was the trophy for completing a legendary climb. Master Climber. Oh, that was a legendary climb. Almost immediately after that, I got a trophy for crafting my first elemental arrow. Another trophy, Mastered the Elements. Crafting a fire arrow. The next one was the first trophy related to taking down an enemy encounter. These machines are called Glint Hawks. Defeated a Glint Hawk flight. It doesn't look like there's any more. Without even realizing it, I completed this level without dying and I was rewarded with another trophy. Ooh, trophy, clean run. Must be a story related. At the main hub of the game, I had to do some crafting to get the next trophy. Crafted pickaxes. Crafted pickaxes. Nice. Boom. Another set of collectibles in this game are the cairns. You need to stack the rocks on top of each other without them falling over. Is that right? Cairn builder. Cairn builder trophy. Okay. The next trophy required me to take down another type of machine known as the Scrapper, and there were quite a few of them. Two down, three down. Defeated a Scrapper Pack trophy. A little bit later, I got a trophy for shooting all of the beacons in a single mission. Does it look like Daniel? Not really. Haven't written in cursive in a long time. Ooh, there you are! Yeah, there we go, the alerted trophy. I guess for getting all the uh, beacons in one level. About a minute later, I got another story-related trophy for completing a legendary climb at the end of Mission 4. Another trophy, the Sun Spear. Nice. Just look at that view. Up next was the Thunderjaw boss fight, and I got a trophy for hitting him with explosive barrels. Heavy hitter trophy. Nice. The Thunderjaw has a ton of health, and it's pretty tiring shooting arrows over and over, but there are ballistas around the arena to help you out. I missed him. Ooh, 
big damage. Defeated a Thunderjaw trophy. Man. That was kind of tough. I almost died. Right after that, I picked up this item for a story related trophy. A new threat trophy. Okay. During a stealth portion of the next mission, I shot a watcher in the eye for another trophy. Lights out trophy. Nice. Whoa. Maybe I should have just snuck by. Up next was another boss fight, the Bellowback. This fight was pretty chaotic because it sets fire to everything, and there are other enemies as well. Center here. Ah, I'm on fire! Taking him down rewarded a silver trophy. Ooh, defeated a Bellowback trophy, nice. It wasn't too bad once I got the hang of it. The next trophy was also a boss fight in the next mission. This was the Shell Walker, and it had a shield to protect itself. Hey. Oh, he's got a shield. The Shellwalker trophy. One thing's for sure. The Ashram didn't let that Shellwalker just wander around when they were camping here. A little while later, I got another story related trophy. The Metal Devil trophy. Nice. In the next mission, I crafted a new type of arrow, which gave me a trophy. Too many. Fully armed trophy. Nice. At the end of the mission was a boss fight, the Stormbird. I got a trophy during the fight. Oh, and you're in an element trophy. Nice. And another trophy for taking out the Stormbird. Got him. Um, defeated a Stormbird. Oh god. Well, that should have killed me. I got this next trophy by crafting the grapple, which was the last tool to collect. Okay. Fully equipped trophy. There was another Thunderjaw boss fight later in the game, and I got a trophy for shooting down one of its projectiles. Trophy disc shot. Nice. This next one was the last story-related trophy before the final boss fight. Oh, trophy. Asara's Fall. Now it was time for the final boss fight of the game, the Fire Claw. Oh. This fight was quite the endurance, but not too hard, and that would be the last trophy I got for the first playthrough of the game. Here we go. Defeated a Fireclaw trophy. Gotta run and get to Asera. The next step in this Platinum journey is to collect some trophies that I missed my first time around, such as collectibles and other miscellaneous trophies. The first of these was to kill a Grazer, which can only be done early in the first mission. Alright, so I gotta kill one of these guys. Ooh, got him. Defeated a Grazer. Nice. Next, I had to get through a stealth section of the game without getting detected. Right. 
For some reason, I got detected in this section, but still got credit for the trophy. No, it's bull. I didn't know what to do. Ooh, what was that? Karja and Shadow. Oh, I got it, even though I got detected at one point. I'll take it. There are a total of seven cairns to construct throughout the game, and I got a trophy for doing the last one. Easy. There it is. Master Cairn Builder. Silver Trophy. Check this out. There are 111 warning beacons to shoot throughout the game, which seems like a lot, but they are pretty easy to find. Oh, there it is. Is this the last one? There it is. Full alert trophy. That's all the beacons. That wasn't too bad. I got like 99% of them on my own. Immediately after that, I had to scale this massive structure to get the final legendary climb, which there are a total of six. Do it in record time. Go, go, go. That's it. Legendary climber. The last area of the game I needed to go to was the challenge hub, where I found the 20th and final lore collectible. The blazing sun. That's it, the last collectible, Scholar. Nice. Before attempting the hardest and final trophies in this platinum journey, I needed to first go on a machine safari. Oh, I got the trophy right there. Machine Safari. This was the easiest trophy of the game because it pops immediately and it just brings you to a cinematic experience, which was pretty neat. Oh, Jesus. Now for the hardest part of this Platinum journey, the Challenge Hub courses. I started with the Archery course because I heard that the Assault course was harder, but I found the Archery course to be way tougher. You basically need to be perfect to get the score needed for the trophy, which requires speed and precision. This took me about 10 to 15 attempts to finally complete it, and boy was I sore afterwards. That might be it. On target trophy, yes. I think I just got exactly the score I needed. Wow. That's ridiculous. Last but not least was the assault course. This was allegedly the hardest trophy in the game, but I didn't find it so bad. You just have to climb through the course quickly while also going through the bonus rings to increase your score. I did a couple of test runs to figure out the route, and this was my first legit attempt at beating the record for the trophy. If I am successful, then I will get the final trophy needed to pop the Platinum Trophy.
grapple Come again. Got it, top of the class. That was not bad at all. And there it is, Platinum Trophy answered the call. Horizon Call of the Mountain, Platinum Trophy. Done. That was a lot of fun. Woo. I am sweating. In the beginning of this video, I wanted to find out if this game lived up to the hype. I can safely say that after completing this game and getting the Platinum Trophy, that this game is incredible. It is graphically one of the most beautiful VR games I have played to date, and the gameplay and exploration was pretty solid. My only complaint is that the game is pretty short, as I got the Platinum in 4 play sessions that totaled a little over 10 hours. That's a pretty short game for a $60 price tag, so if you're looking to get your money's worth, then maybe wait for a deal before purchasing. This game's Platinum Trophy is ultra rare at 0.5% owned, is my second PSVR 2 Platinum, and overall Platinum number 83 on my PSN account. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more PSVR 2 Platinums, then do everything you can to help grow my channel. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and look forward to my next Platinum journey, which is going to be Creed Rise to Glory Championship Edition. In the meantime, check out my Platinum Journey for the Game Thumper, an insanely difficult and fast-paced rhythm game on the PSVR 2. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.